Today, we're playing Seafair's Expansion, Scenario 5, The Forgotten Tribe. So, nothing new here with the harbors. You're going to need the five two-to-ones and one three-to-one. You're going to need eight to ten chits, and everything else is very normal. Um, for the board extenders, you're going to need, up here, two double extenders and two single extenders. So you'll see those, um, so it's going to be a very long board, this one. So we'll speed it up while we set up the gameplay area and when we come back, we'll explain the setup. So this is the main layout of the board. So as you can see, the small islands around the main island do not have numbers. You cannot build on the small islands. The reason that we have the Catan chips here is because in the Forgotten Tribe, there are treasures to go and find around the board. So you will need four development cards. Now, the rule book says take the, shuffle them and take the top four. I like a little bit of added incentive. So I actually go through and there is, I don't know which is which, but there is a Monopoly, there's a Year of Plenty, there's a Road Building, and there's a Victory Point. So putting these ones out instead of randomly kind of gives a little bit more incentive to take your boats out to find them. So the special development cards are placed there. The Catan chips are victory points and they also get put out. The harbors shuffled up are placed in these locations. So to get the treasures, you must travel out and make a shipping route with your ships. When your ship touches the corner of one of the treasures, it is yours. So this development card would be mine. If I add that, the Catan ship would be mine. Don't forget, you can move your boats as long as they have one end that is not touching any of your pieces. So I could move him here, here, and then this harbor would be mine. 
Now, if you are out and about, that would mean you have a settlement on the edge. Hello, kitty. So once you get a harbor, you place it by your settlement, your choice. If for some reason you don't have a settlement that has space to put a harbor, you would just hang on to that harbor until you build a settlement and are able to place the harbor. So those are the three different kinds of treasures that you can find with your ships. And just remember, you cannot build on those small islands. They are only for finding the treasures and going around. And that's it. So we are going to, so there's three of us playing. Dad is not here today. He's at work. So it's just me and the kids. The kids are on two different teams. So there's going to be three different players. Uh, Ryder has orange, which is normally dad's color, but he is orange today, taking the place of dad. He'll probably win too. <laughs> All right. So we'll roll to see who goes first and we will play the Forgotten Tribe. Oh, and I almost forgot victory points 13. So we are going up to 13 today. that's it. That's game. Orange one, writer one. Lucky color, I think. Uh, it was a quick game. The game we played last two was uh, a quick game. So the playing time on seafarers is 90 minutes. This one took us 40 minutes. So it really just depends on the numbers that are rolling and how quick somebody can go out. So orange one with 13 points. So he's got one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and he had already put it away. Thirteen. His victory point here. So that's it. That's game, and that is how you play the Forgotten Tribe. So keep playing and have fun.